Uh, yeah, guys. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, these are the set of questions that we are going to discuss on the topic percentages. So, these are some different type of questions. Uh, let's start our uh, video with our first problem. So, the problem says here, uh, the population of a village is 4000 and, in, and it increases at the rate of 10% every year. After two years, the population will be what? So, simple question. So, it's given in this way, initial population is 4000. So then what happened after one year 10 percentage rise first year. So what is 10 percent of 4000? 400 rupees, four, sorry 400. So then 4000 plus 400 is 4400. Now again what happened after second year? This is after first year and after second year. And again this is also 10 percent rise. So now again calculate what is 10% of 440 it's clearly sorry 10% of 4400 is 440 so 4400 plus 440 it is 4840 so the answer for the problem is 4840 nice uh, let me move on to our second problem fine so the second problem is this guys uh, just pause the video for a minute, try and then uh, continue with the solution. Uh, yeah, In an examination, a candidate Sham got 30% marks and failed by 10 marks. Another person Ram got 40% marks and got 15 marks more than the, sorry, and 15 marks more than, that is, pass mark. So, uh, <coughs> so then what is the pass mark? So, that was the question he asked. So, guys, uh, well, let's say this is Sham. Fine. Yeah. Let's take a number line in this way. Like in this, Sham got how much percentage? 30 percentage marks. And he failed by how many marks? 10 marks. So, he is 10 marks away to the pass mark. And the other person, Ram, he got 40 percent marks and got 15 marks more than pass mark that's it so that's it guys so sham to ram in terms of percentage it is 30 to 40 it is 10 percentage of marks 10 percentage which is in terms of marks it is 10 plus 15 25 so 10 percentage of total marks is 25 then he is asking us to calculate pass marks so how we can calculate pass marks we can either calculate 30 percentage marks which sham got plus 10 marks will get pass mark or we can calculate 40 percentage and subtract 15 marks so that we'll get a pass mark that's it so i'm going to calculate 30 percentage 10 percentage is 25 then 30 percentage is 75 and add 10 to it that is nothing but 85 this is the pass mark so answer is 85 and sometimes they may ask you to calculate what is total marks there might be a chance so simple 10 percentage it is given as 25 marks so 100 percentage will be 250 marks that's it top 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 okay uh, okay guys let's uh, move on to third problem fine so this is the third problem. Uh, it is given in this way. Two numbers are 30% and 40% less than the third number. Then by what percentage second number is less than the first? Okay. So here uh, the two numbers, first number, second number is dependent on third number. So I'll start in this way. I'll assume third number as 100. So first number is how much percent less than the third? 30% less than the third. So that there will be 70. Second number is 40% less than the third. So that is so 40 percent minus 40 so it is 60 so uh, he is asking what percentage of second uh, then by what percent second is less than the first so simple so he is asking uh, this one by what percent second number is less than the first so second number less than 
first. So second number is comparing with the first number. So the base number is first and he is asking less. So which is nothing but he is talking about difference. So you need to apply the formula percentage more or percentage less. Formula is difference by base value into 100. This is our formula. So second number is how much less than uh, first number. Second number 60 is 10 less than the first and it is given what now we need to go, go on, uh, look for the base value. Base value is nothing but with which value our number is going compared. So with first number our number is being compared. So first number is our base value which is 70 into 100. So zeros so cancel 1 by 7 into 100 that is nothing but 14.28 percentage. So this is fine. Now let's move on to our next problem. So here is the same similar problem. The same problem. The question asked is uh, quite different. So two numbers are 30 percent and 40 percent less than the third. So same thing guys. First number, second number, third number. I'm assuming third number as 100. First number is 30 percent less than the first. So that is 70. Second number is 40 percent less than the uh, third number. So 40 percent of 100 is 40. So 100 minus 40 is 60. Now he's asking then by what percent by then by what percentage uh, the second uh, is the first okay so he is asking by what percentage of by what percentage of second number is the first so let's say he is asking by what percentage of now i am writing in this way some x percentage of second number is first number correct so that's what he is asking so x percentage x by 100 of second number is what 60 is equals to 70 so this is what I'm, uh, they have asked and i have not uh, given like b by a into 100 some formula and all i went with the concept guys so here so x equals to 70 by 60 into 100 so this is what we got so it is uh, 700 uh, uh, by 6 so it is uh, how many times uh, yeah, 700 by 6 we got. So that will be just uh, give me the answer, guys. 700 by 6 by 6. That is, uh, yeah, 116.66 percentage. So First number is 116.66 percentage of second number. Clear guys? Okay. Let's move on to our next problem. Again the same problem. So here I hope you will get, uh, you need to solve the problem fastly more, fast more than uh, uh, me. Okay. Uh, here it is given first number, second number, third number, again same as usual story. 100 and first number is 30 percent less than the first which is 70 second number 40 percent less than the third which is 60 and he's asking by what percentage of the first number is second so that's it so x percentage of first number is second number so second number is 60 so x percent where here by 100 it will be here in 200 and here first number will be at the denominator denominator first number is 70 so he's asking 6 by 7 so here we got test 600 by 7 so the answer is what 6 by 7 into 100 clearly percentage to fraction fraction to percentage you would have learned this it is 85.71 percentage so i can say that uh, 85 percentage 85.71 percentage of 60 is 70 so this is what he is asking so try to understand guys so he is asking this uh, question okay so he asked uh, about what percentage of first number is second means 85.71 percentage of second number 60 is first number 70 i hope you got it let's move on to our next problem fine so this is percentage increase decrease uh, one of the uh, type of problem in this 
So let's uh, see our problem. Length of a rectangle decreased by 30%. Then what should be the change in breadth of a rectangle when the area of rectangle resulted in 40% increase? So we know that area of a rectangle equals to length into breadth. He mentioned length decreased by 30%. Uh, area increased by 40%. Hey. So, then what is the change in breadth? So, yeah, as we already know, uh, there is a formula in this concept, whereas effective percentage change equals to a plus B plus AB by 100. So I'm going to apply this. Whereas effective percentage change, so area equals to length into breadth. So this area is nothing but here effective percentage change, length is A, breadth is B. Clear? So here area 40% increase. When it is increased, take plus sign, plus 40 equals to breadth decrease by 30. So when it is decreased, minus 30 plus b value we don't know don't consider any uh, plus or minus uh, i mean don't consider any minus sign here let it be plus final answer if you get plus it is increase final answer if you get minus it is uh, decrease so plus minus 30 into plus b by 100 so minus 30 if it is uh, taken out to other side it is plus 30 which is 70 and it is b minus 3b by 10 so 70 equals to it is uh, 7b by 10 so this will be b equals to 100 per 100 percent and plus symbol is there so twice so that's it guys so if length of rectangle decreased by 30 percent then what percentage then by what uh, what should be the change in breadth of rectangle when area of rectangle result in 40 percent increase length decrease 30 percent and area increase 40 percent means breadth should be increased by 100 percent this is one way of solution guys i'll go with i'll go i'll give you the other way of solution uh, it's uh, it's up to you which one way you want to follow so let me go with other way of solution here see guys let us assume area as 100 Okay, then it is given the length has been reduced by 30% because of change in length, there will be change in area also by same percentage, we know it. So, then 30% reduction, it is 70. But he told that area has been like he want to increase area by 40%. We know that if length is reduced, then area increase must be there then definitely breadth should be increased that is a later case then he desired to make area to increase by 40 percent so 40 by 40 percent of 100 is 40 which is now it should have been 140 so because of length area became 70 but he desired to make it 140 then by what by what he need to change he need to change the breadth that is the this happens only with the breadth so straight away 70 became 140 means it became double so that means that change is nothing but 100 percentage rise now that is due to that is in uh, due to the change in the breadth so this is that's uh, there's a reason why area will change so this uh, solution seems to be a little easy it's up to you what you want to follow let's move on to our next problem so the next problem says in this way the speed of car increased by 30 percent and then again increased by 40 percent then what is the resultant percentage change yeah guys uh, we can apply our previous effective percentage change formula <coughs> to solve this problem where uh, you can consider uh, 30 percent as a and 40 per second number 40 percent as b and you can apply this formula or else we can straight away go with our previous method just now i told first consider speed of the car as 100 it got increased by 30 percent so 30 percent of 100 is 30 which is no it is 130 again it increased by 40 percent clear so now you need to calculate 40 percent on 130 it's not about for starting 100 the reason is from 130 has increased 40 percent 
So what is 10% of 130? 10% of 130 is 13. So 40% will be 10% is 13. Then 40% will be 10 into 4 is 40, right? So similarly 13 into 4, which is 52. So 40% of 130 is 52. So 130 plus 52 is 182. So it is clearly 100 become 182. So on the 182, uh, the difference 182 and 100 is compared with the 100 straight away you can say 82 percentage rise. So the total resultant is 82 percentage rise in the speed of the car. Okay guys, let's move on to our next problem. If 30 percentage of the number is subtracted from 91, results the number itself, then what is the number? So fine, I'll write this in a traditional way. Uh, we don't know that number. So he's telling that some 30 percentage of some number is subtracted from 91, which resulted it's the number itself. Then what is the number? So straight away guys. So 91 is here from 91. I am subtracting some 30 percentage of some unknown number. Let me uh, assume it as n. And this resulted the number itself. So the, again, I got the, my number back. So 91 minus 30 by 100 of n equals to n. So calculations 91 equals to n plus 3 by 10 n which is 13 n by 10. So resultant number n equals to 91 by 13 into 10. So how many times 13 91 so, uh, 7 times so 7 into 10 7. That's it. So 